you guys we're having mediterranean for dinner from this place called parsley i've never had grape leaves before that's what these are can't wait to try those and then i got louise a wrap it's got tahini sauce and cucumbers and quinoa uh i can't remember what else chickpeas i think and then gary and i just gave him some hummus and some pita bread and some falafel because we've never had they've never had mediterranean before so hmm. i don't know what if they like it good. and if they would like it or not and logan got a baguette baguette you like it mm -hmm. it's very good oh good i'm glad you like it you like yours daddy uh, well, laying right now Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then oh, smells good. and then we got some different flavored uh, Kern's nectar. I love guava, so I got a guava. Good, guava good, but good. good. Hi. <laughs> so I want to try the grape leaves first because I've never had them before, and I've always been really curious. Grape yeah, some kind of something wrapped with grape leaf. I've never had it, and I've always been curious about them. So let's see. Interesting flavor. I don't really know what it is. It looks like some kind of bulgur or rice tastes a little bit vinegary but not super vinegary i don't know it's interesting it's not my favorite but it might grow on me <laughs> anyway i'm gonna dig into the rest of this the next day oh my god you guys that greek food made me so freaking sick i will never eat there again <laughs> that's the third time i've given them a chance the first two times, I just didn't like it that much, but I thought that maybe the flavors would like grow on me and that I would start to like it. Um, but also it's just not very, actually it's just not very flavorful at all. Um, probably cause it's not like a dedicated vegan restaurant. It's just a restaurant that has a couple vegan options. So it was very bland and the only thing was I didn't like the grape leaves. Those did have flavor, but everything else was very bland to me. And uh, I don't even think their hummus is that good. So. Yeah, I'll never eat there again. But yeah, I was up all night, super sick with my Crohn's disease. And so I called into work today because I basically didn't sleep last night. <laughs> and uh, so I've just been like resting here on the couch and you can hear Luisa's playing video games. We're about to watch. He works late today. He's going in at, he has to leave at three. So our new, uh, it's not really new. We've been watching for a couple months now, but our guilty pleasure is the Frenemies podcast with uh, Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas. So we're about to watch the new episode of Frenemies. If you guys have never seen it and you like, I mean, Trisha Paytas is definitely, you know, she's like my guilty pleasure. She's like a acquired taste. <laughs> and if you don't like drama stuff, like people that cause a lot of drama, then definitely do not watch her because she's nothing but drama. Uh, but it's entertaining. But anyway. That's what we're gonna do. Hang out uh, and watch TV together until he has to go to work. So just thought I'd give you a little update about that Greek food. If you're ever in Vegas, I mean, and you're looking for Mediterranean vegan food, I would not recommend Parsley, which is the name of the restaurant. So sorry, Parsley, but your food was not very good and it made me super sick. So anyway, <laughs> I just thought I'd share. <sighs> oh, I just got lightheaded. <laughs> <laughs> Garyan's making lunch, peanut butter and jelly. It's only ten. Oh, is that <laughs> is that breakfast then? Uh huh. Oh well, breakfast then. I've been up all night long, so I didn't look at the time. Sorry. <laughs> we know. <laughs> well, I did sleep a little bit on the couch, and I slept a little bit like in the middle of the night. Like I heard somebody, one of the cats, um, pee. Yeah, and I went and cleaned it up. The cats puked all over the hallway. Oh, great. Now that I'm standing up. Which cat? No, I don't know. I think it was Sinendra. Now that I'm standing up, my stomach is hurting. Ah, I think it was Sinendra, and I cleaned it up. Um, anyway, I was going to say that I did sleep a little bit like in between bouts of running to the restroom last night, but I woke up three times in the middle of the night. Anyway, who cares, right? That's my life. Crohn's disease is a chronic condition characterized by inflammation in the gastrointestinal or GI tract. The GI tract includes the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and anal region.
Crohn's disease can affect any part of the GI tract, but the most common location is the last part of the small intestine, which is called the ileum, and the first portion of the colon, which is also referred to as the large intestine. The GI tract is frequently confronted with bacteria from our diet and environment. The symptoms of Crohn's disease vary depending on where the disease is located and its severity. This means that every patient with Crohn's disease experiences the disease differently. Most patients with Crohn's disease have abdominal pain and diarrhea. Other symptoms related to the GI tract can include abdominal tenderness, loss of appetite, weight loss, fever, fatigue, rectal bleeding, anal skin tags, and ulcers. In addition to symptoms involving the GI tract, Crohn's disease can affect other parts of the body. Symptoms outside of the GI tract can include joint pain, liver inflammation, osteoporosis, skin problems, eye problems, mouth ulcers, and anemia. Patients with Crohn's disease should expect to lead normal lives in consultation with their healthcare providers. I'm used to it. Um, I was gonna eat something, but now that my stomach hurts, yeah. It's not a good idea. It's just gonna make it worse. So I just ordered a Target haul. They're gonna bring some saltines because I usually like to eat saltines when I don't feel well. Uh, and I haven't had them in a really long time. So I'm like, I think it's time to have some saltines. <laughs> you can put them on. Ooh, oh God, my stomach hurts. Okay, I gotta go. So my Target order came and I decided I'm gonna have some Kashi blueberry cluster cereal with some yogurt and cinnamon and some strawberries and bananas. Hopefully my stomach handles it okay, but I need to eat something, so this is it. Oh, I had my little snack and now I'm ready for a nap. So I'm gonna go upstairs and lay in my bed for a little while. Luis has to leave for work in like an hour, I think. Oh, actually, let me grab my chapstick. Can't go anywhere without my chapstick, y'all. Oh, and my water too. Tell me, are you like me? Are you a chapstick fiend? If you've made it this far in the video, hashtag chapstick in the comments because I can't literally go nowhere without it. I love, not just love it, but I'm addicted to it. I have to have some kind of chapstick with me at all times. Usually multiple, multiples with me all over the house and in my purse and I just always have to have some. But anyway, Luis is getting ready for work, so I guess I better turn the camera off. I made the boys some bean dip. They didn't have any tostadas at the store. I was gonna make them tostadas for dinner, so I just got chips. I mean, neither one's that healthy, so whatever. It's pretty much the same thing, I figure. Just an easy, quick dinner, so I don't have to stand in the kitchen all night. And it's delicious, right? I just used some vegetarian refried beans, some salsa, some taco seasoning, and two slices of BioLife cheese that I melted into it. And that's it, it's really good. And this is gonna be my <laughs> yummy dinner. I actually love saltines. I used to work at Rebel Gas Station in a little booth by myself, and I used to eat these for lunch, like, way too often, I would eat an entire one of these for my lunch, sometimes with peanut butter, sometimes just by itself. Yeah, kind of weird, right? But I love saltines. So anyway, that's my dinner. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching my little broccoli bites and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.